QAnon supporters are getting confused, as well as angry, uh, after Donald Trump basically has done a couple of things to admit that he is not he not only lost the election in 2020, of course, but that he's not really planning on coming back. So now, first off, this is what uh, Trump had told Fox News host Sean Hannity last week. We got him by surprise in 16, and in uh, 20, we did much better than we did in 16. And uh, shockingly, we were supposed to win easily at 64 million votes, and we got 75 million votes, and we didn't win. But let's see what happens on that. Mm, what happens? Oh, right, nothing. Uh, nothing's going to happen on that. Now, following that admission, according to a report from Newsweek, Trump's announcement that he will be touring with disgraced former Fox News personality Bill O'Reilly in December was not welcomed by QAnon. The tour, which will include stops in Sunrise, Florida, then Orlando before moving on to Houston, and in Dallas on December 19th, carries a ticket price of 100 bucks. Yes, I know. Yeah, people actually are paying to see Donald Trump. Ugh. <laughs> uh, and Trump announcing... My tour of Bill O'Reilly is getting a lot of attention, and I'm looking forward to it. Maybe tickets would make a great Father's Day gift. Yes, uh, yeah, to the radical left rhinos and losers of the world, perhaps. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, in any event, I'll see, you I'll see you then and much sooner. What is he going to do? Is, he, is Bill O'Reilly going to come to your house? Is that what's going to ha happen? He, he's coming to your house. He's coming to your house. Uh, or not. No, okay. So that announcement set up a flurry of very confused and angry comments on Telegram. As one user identified as Peace Lily wrote, Okay, I guess my question is, Trump coming back? Why would he be doing a tour through the end of the year with O'Reilly? Hmm, something doesn't feel right. Yeah, yes. So, nothing will happen to December? Wrote another, with a third adding... Man, I sure hope we don't have to wait that long before you're back in office. Y'all, I got news for you. That is, uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, once again. Uh, another person says, it's only a few days close together, and it could be done if it works out like it should. Should cancel, but yep, kind of a gut punch statement. But we are in an information war. Ah, oh, yes, an information that looked like perhaps a an info war. So who the hell knows, wrote another with Trump supporter Angela Baldwin writing in. So basically the August thing is a bunch of bull because reinstated president doesn't go on tour. Well, yeah, you know what, to be fair, that's kind of what all what Donald Trump did when he was president is go on tour. It, basically he did rallies. That is, of course, until the pandemic. And then, you know, that really slowed that down. But yeah, look, overall, he ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. And, and what a lot of people, uh, QAnon members, are hinging this uh, conspiracy on is the Arizona audit. So they think that the Arizona audit is going to turn up all sorts of massive voter fraud. And then that's going to lead to other states doing their own audits. And then it's going to basically, you know, uh, be like a domino effect where, oh, this state's going to find the fraud. Then that state's going to find the fraud. This is going to find the fraud. Well, there's only one problem with that. There's no fraud to find. At least not massive voter fraud. You might find one or two, maybe a handful of people that incorrectly filled out their ballots. Some even voted, you know, uh, as we've seen in some certain cases, you've had Trump supporters that will write people in, their dead relatives, things like that. And that is actual voter fraud. But as far as widespread fraud, it doesn't actually exist. It's not happening. And by the way, the Arizona audit is a disaster. It's a joke headlined by a bunch of clowns. It, it's just, it's not going to find anything. The hopium has run out. You are out of fumes. At one point, do you just give up and move on? Uh, honestly, I think Trump's pretty close to doing so. I mean, really, the, 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 the only time you'll really give up is when the donations and the news coverage die up, uh, dry up, I should say, uh, or die out. Because that is how he operates. It's essentially about money and ego and attention. Unfortunately, there's only so much reality that people can deny 
for so long. It's going to run out, and when it does, we're never going to hear from this guy again. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.